Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of What's in the Bag. Today we will be doing an unboxing video. So without further ado, what's in the bag? Let's find out. So every so often, you'll have an impulse buy. That's kind of normal. Oh, I have a penny. Every so often, you'll have an impulse buy for something that you don't necessarily need but could benefit you, and that's kind of what happened. I went to Best Buy and I found this. It's the Sony RX100 Mark V. I found this for $683.99. Not a penny more, not a penny less. The thing about this camera is that it's a point and shoot. It's not a fancy DSLR with like amazing capabilities, but it gets the job done. When I first started making convention videos, I wanted to get like a big fancy camera and I thought that that was gonna be the way that I will excel as a filmmaker is by getting bigger and fancier cameras. Hey, that's me! But surprise, surprise, that was not the case. In fact, if it wasn't for me forgetting my big fancy camera, I think it was this past year, I was live streaming and I was making a video and I, I did that for like two days already. It was the third day of KawaiiCon and I just couldn't deal with it anymore. And I was so tired and exhausted from doing two things at once that I forgot my big camera at home. And all I had was this, this tiny little Canon G7X. I was getting kind of worried because I didn't have my big camera and I couldn't zoom in, I couldn't do any of the, I didn't have good audio. And I just remember thinking to myself, well, I've got to try something different. By comparison, let me show you. This is a clip of when I used a fancy $2,000 camera. And this is a clip of me getting this refurbished point and shoot camera by Canon for only like, I think it was like only 500 bucks. So what have we learned here? We've learned that the bigger cameras do not matter. The camera that I'm using right here is a Canon XA20. It's not the most high-end camera you can get, but it is a camera that can attach good audio so you guys can hear me a lot better. This camera does not have a way to plug in an external microphone, but I have a little windbreaker on here. See that? Can you see that? Kind of looks like my hair. And that's the best that I can do, but I don't use this to film audio. I use this to film audio with footage, but this, just a tiny little point and shoot that I can move around, and that's the main reason for this. The only problem was that the focusing on this was a little slow. And because of the style of filming that I did, slow, laggy autofocus is not exactly what I need. Uh, the reason I only use autofocus on this is because I do selfie mode. I always have it like this. If you've seen one of my cosplay montages, you'll understand. I just need to run and gun. So when I found this camera in the refurbished section, I decided it was a deal. I saved almost $300 on this little bad boy and as you can tell the box is completely messed up uh, but I did have a chance to test it out I, I just put it back in the box for aesthetic purposes oh it's it's manuals you got a lot of freaking manuals there are some things that disappointed me about what you get this is the charger for the camera oh, wait let me I should show you the camera first so this right here is the Sony RX100 Mark V. Uh, what else can I say about it other than it looks a lot better than the camera that I have because this camera has been dropped repeatedly. Like the thing that I can say about Canon is it takes a beating and it still keeps going. I'm not sure about Sony, I'm a little more hesitant to do some sketchy footage with this. But as I was saying, the accessories uh, I don't use these kind of things to get in the way. This is the charger for it. This is what I didn't like. Like, this one came with its own charger, so you can take the battery out. You know, you, you just pop the battery out, put it in the charger. Yeah, I like that a lot better, because if you have two batteries, you can charge one while you're still using your camera. This one, you need to plug this into, like, an outlet and you have to plug it in like right here. I don't know if you can turn it on and do stuff while it's charging like this. I, I haven't tried that, but I find this to be annoying 
um, this is this would be my last resort of charging a camera battery. I looked online, I found a couple of portable chargers because I don't like this at all, but it'll have to do until I buy that. Now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, we're gonna turn on the Canon camera and recording now. And then we are going to turn on the Sony camera and recording now. Now. Oh, wait, that's... Yeah, wait, yep. Okay, it's recording. Recording. Okay, both cameras are on right now. And they're both gonna... Oh, actually, I should do... Like, the cool thing about them is that I can flip them up like this. And I can do, like, a selfie mode. And then this camera can flip up like that. And I also got a selfie mode. So now, I can hold both cameras like this. And we have two different selfie modes. And as you can tell... Um, they both look a little, oh jeez, why is this one so over, well I don't think it's overexposed, but you can see the coloring on this one looks a little brighter than the coloring on this one, maybe I need to adjust it, I'm not sure, but they both kind of have the same good quality vibe that I'm getting from, I don't know, I, this is why I don't do tech reviews, I have no idea what I say and I ramble on for like a half an hour and I try to reduce it down to like a five minute video, that's never gonna happen. One thing I want to test out though is the, the speed of autofocus, so let's just take my pouch, alright, we're gonna use this camera first, we're gonna use the, <laughs> the focuses. It's taking a long time to focus. Come on, focus. There we go. And now focus on that. That was slow. See that? I can't like, and the thing too is like, sometimes I don't have time to look and see if it's in focus. I just have to do my thing. All right, now let's try this camera. All right, focus. That was faster. Boom, look at that, boom. Boom, 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 look how fast that is, that's crazy, that's an unbelievable speed of focus. And that is why I spent that much money on this camera, because when I'm filming like this and I need to get, wait, let me, I need to get close to myself, like, oh, that's uncomfortable, and then boom, that's a lot of Zions cans. This video is not sponsored by Zions, they won't sponsor me, they ignore my messages, but anyways, back to this. So yeah, I like how it's focused on me and then you focus on something else and it just like the focus is just really really fast and so with this I'd be able to do a lot more and now a lot of people ask me like Grant why do you use a point and shoot when you do your videos well so I can do things like this right just throw it up in the air catch it you know little things like that if you watch my videos you'll see that that's kind of my thing and it's funny because a lot of people think that I edit my videos with After Effects. All of the little trickeries that you see are just with a point and shoot kind of going like this. This is all I'm doing with my point and shoots and I make them go like that and sometimes I'll take my camera and I'll be like, hey, this is cool. I'll throw it up in the air, catch it, and, and then that's, oh, that's upside down. Thank you very much for watching. As always, my name is Grant Uchida. Remember, if you would like to send me fan mail or anything of the sort that you would like to have on here, just send it to P.O. Box. That's the P.O. Box. So leave a P.O. Box here in the description. Down there, I mean. Or on the screen right here. And if there is anything you would like, um, like me to open up, I will do it on this series called What's in the Bag. So... I, I suck at doing tech reviews. I'm not very good. I'm not tech savvy at all. I just I just know what looks cool. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next video whenever that may be, probably on Monday. So take care. I don't know when this video is coming out, but I'm sure next week is going to be another great video. All right, take care, guys. Bye.